Today we'll be taking a look at the brand new Ultimate Cup prize cards for 2023. Digimon fans, welcome back and today we're going to be opening up a bunch of participation prizing and top prizing for Ultimate Cups event for this year. This year's main focus is the Gyomon and Gallomon line which I know is one of the many fan favorites Digimon for you guys and we also got a couple of the brand new event pack 4s and as well as other random packs just for a quick opening today. But just before we start, I want to quickly ask you guys to kindly subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell if you haven't done so yet. That is because we've got lots of exciting BT12 content coming your way real soon, so you definitely want to stay tuned. Also, give this video a like while you're at it because it really helps and I really, really appreciate the support from all of you. But with that out of the way, let's open up these packs and go through the exclusive stuff. Okay, so we just got a few quick packs for here today. Not anything too much, but definitely want to, you know, spend some more time going through and talk about more of these amazing cards that you can get from, yeah, from playing Ultimate Cup, this newest Ultimate Cup. Once again, guys, always a reminder to join the online tournaments. And the first one right here is the Gigimon. And of course, with the uh, brand new Ultimate Cup stamp, well, not like brand new stamp, the stamp's always been the same, but this is like the brand new Digivolution line this year. It's going to be focused on Gallantmon, the entire line, all the way from Gigimon to Gilmon, Growmon, War Growmon, Gallantmon, and Gallantmon Crimson Mode all the way through, which is really cool. Um, I definitely like this art style. This is very nice. This is the Gigimon you get just by participating and... Yeah, you know, these are definitely some of the fan favorite stuff. It's like really cool. Simple effect from BT12. Your turn, add extra thousand damage to the maximum of DP based deletion effects that you can delete. And this is really nice because we already get to see some BT12 cards ahead of time. I'm glad they didn't choose to reprint any of the older cards. And um, yeah, it's definitely good to see. But keep in mind, guys, you can't play this until BT12 is actually legal. But anyways, I wouldn't really play it. Uh, it's just for more for collecting, really, right? So here we have the Gilmon. You get the Gilmon by placing top 128, I believe. And I did manage to do that, and I did uh, play on the live stream, I remember. I think I was playing the O-Force Vigimon deck during that time. So if you guys haven't checked out that live stream, be sure to check it out. But also, I live stream like any online tournaments I've been playing recently. So definitely check those out and stay tuned for sure. But yes, let's talk about this Gilmon. It's also from BT12. I guess kind of nice already, because we're already kind of talking about and looking about BT12 cards ahead of time. I'm excited to build Gallantmon for that meta. So really cool stuff. We have Gilmon and they always do this with the Mega in the background, which looks very nice. And I definitely do like that. This one's on play. Reveal the top four cards of your deck. Add all Takato among them to your hand and place the rest at the bottom. And then it gives you a Inheritable. While this Digimon has Gralmon or Gallimon in its name, it gets extra 2000 DP during your turn. So I think this is a really good Gilmon. Like effectively, there's great value when you hard play it. There's great value when you're Digivolving it as well, building your stack. So... And it has 2,000 DP, which is which usually most of the guy, these guys will only have like around 1,000, some of them, I think. Uh, but yeah, very nice. And a 3-play hard cost card. So I'm super happy that we got this one. Nice textures, too. Really, really like it. Fantastic. Okay, so let's go into some quick random packs. I just gathered like some of these uh, BTA and EX3 packs, you know, just, just from like participating in my tournaments. So let's just see what we pull here. I won't expect something too much out of three packs today, but let's just go through them and see what we have. We have Commandramon, uh, Paledramon, Padamon, Chris Paledramon, Godflame, Flamedramon, uh, Megiddo Flame, uh, Larvovamon, Pomumon, Mistymon, and Slayerdramon for our rare. Examon deck definitely needs it. And we also got a Lavo Garatamon right here. So, nothing really too crazy just yet. But we also got some BTA packs. Some things that are very sought after would definitely be Black War Greymon, I believe, uh, in this pack, I think. Um, all, honestly, I don't mind any alt hearts that we can hit or pull, potentially. Chimeramon is also nice to pull here as well. So, let's see what we got here. Pissmon, Elecmon, Catchmommymon, Scorpiomon, Kukuamon. Psychmon, okay, 
Surfamon, Demi Maramon, we got TK, Cyclomon, and we got a Gammon Rare here, and we got a Dark Gaia Force. It's kind of surprising, not surprising, but like, you know, this card is completely power crept by uh, Hades Force. Hades Force is definitely a much better card compared to Dark Gaia Force, of course, and, you know, Dark Gaia Force was very short-lived and not many people actually even played it. So, that was a little bit unfortunate, but cool card for sure. Let's go here into our second pack of BT8. I feel like we might hit something right here. Kokuamon. This is very interesting. Players can't ignore Digivolution requirements. This one's very niche with its Floodgate that we never really get to see play, I think. It's not super useful. Oh, I think... Oh, no. I got baited by this. I thought there was, like, a full art or something. More Spinomon, uh, Disaster Blaster, Fangmon, Cyclomon, and once, once again, Rariamon, Armadillomon, Myotismon, and a Metal Greymon, which is definitely nice. Still a really, really good card for sure. Um, yeah, this card is going to be played for a very long time. I think the effect and the Inheritable and everything is just really great on this card and super powerful. So, yeah. Of course, now we're not quite done yet. We do have some event pack fours, which are brand new, and we're going to get to, you know, look at these and talk about them a little bit as well. Uh, one card per pack, and once again, they result to going into the clear pack style, I guess, so that people can see what card it is technically. And of course, as per usual, I'm trying to collect one of each copy right here. So right off the bat, we get offensive plugin A. Why you have a tamer in play, you get to use this card without meaning color requirements. Main one of your Digimon gets security plus one. I do like these border designs now it's full red which looks kind of nice really really cool really slick and yeah i know there's gonna be a lot of plugging type of cards in event pack four and i guess like this could be like really nice max rarity for those who want to play like sakuyamon i guess in a sakuyamon deck uh which is kind of funny and and i actually recently did post it a sakuyamon deck profile so if you guys haven't checked it out yet be sure to check that out as well all right, right here we got, right once again, another plug-in card. This time we got plug-in Defense C. This one's the, you know, one of the, the best ones because for five costs, it gives you a lot of value. Blocker Reboot can't be deleted by your opponent's effects as well. Looks really nice. I do like the design, but unfortunately, I think the choice of the cards for Event Pack 4 were a little bit lackluster in my opinion. I think they could have chose be some better cards. Uh, and some more interesting cards that really need reprint. But there's some neat stuff here and there as well for sure. Uh, like for example we have this Lopmon. All the way from BT3. I haven't played this card in years and ages. Feel as like. Because on play look at the top card of your security stack. You may add to your hand to trigger draw one. The only last time I remember playing this card particularly. Was in BT4 when Yellow War Greymon was a thing. And some people do play this card. But yeah. Otherwise... Like, I'm not sure why this card was chosen to be printed. It looks nice, for sure. You know, I'll still definitely collect it. But, you know, it's not a card that everyone's really, like, seeking after overall. You know what I mean? Okay. Last pack right here. Let's see what we can pull. Uh, cool Boy is definitely going to be really nice. Because Cool Boy is a reprint. Oh, speaking of Cool Boy, we got X-Antibody support. We got UG. Uh, sadly, the Alpha Mon is not really in a great position right now. Because definitely of the Doro Greymon hit. Being restricted down to one. Uh, so the deck is definitely not as strong as it was anymore. But we are getting more support in BT13. So I'm excited for that. And I'm pretty sure UG is always going to be very useful. Uh, it is pretty important for the you know Alpha Mon deck. Which is really good. Because when you push it up from raising. Anything with X Antibody. Uh, you get to you know gain a memory drawing card. Really nice. And then when you attack with an X Antibody that's black. You can suspend him to place one X Antibody trait card. Digimon or whatever underneath like one of your Digimon's bottom Digivolution card so yeah always very nice so definitely really good and yeah definitely want to be adding this into my Alphamon binder as well but that's it for all the cards we want to talk about today that will wrap up for the opening for today if you guys enjoyed the opening be sure to give this video a like what is your favorite alt arts from the particular event pack for what is your favorite alt art from the ultimate cup set as well let me know in the comments down below. If you guys want to see more Digimon videos and deck profiles, be sure to subscribe once again and turn on that notification bell to stay tuned because BT12 stuff is coming real soon. 
As always, thank you so much for watching. You guys have a great day, great night, wherever you are. See you in the next video. And this is Vault, signing out.